field. Yeah, great field and tough conditions as well. We see the first page there. One to look out for, Reese Drury from Mooloola Very consistent on to page number two. Tate Smith now a two-time Olympian. He's qualified for that K4 100 for London 2012. And also in there, Corey Hill and Dane Sloss from Burley Heads, Marlborough Park. And away they go through this break. Got to negotiate. You can just see the Mooloola Bar competitors sneaking over that wave. This surf's picking up here this afternoon as they now make their way out to that first can. And it looks like on that right-hand side, Corey Hill doing a fantastic job. We saw him in the Pro Series this year. He is quite a consistent Ironman competitor and looking to add a single ski state crown to his repertoire as well. Straight in there behind him, you can see on the outside that North Cliff cap. That is Tate Smith. Trying to wheel it in as well. Here's the minor placings. Dane Sloss from Burley Heads in there. Reese Drury in there as well, but they've turned from home. And Corey Hill, all these skis, they can pick up any little runner. You'll see Hill to the left. Sloss trying to man it as well, but Hill just off the back of that wave. And now, well, they're coming into the final stages. Tate Smith has started to rev up. He's onto this little one on the front. That could be enough here. Tate Smith, the former Australian champion, he's going to take back this Queensland crown coming to this judge's flag. It looks like Tate Smith's going to get there. He will. But have a look at these minor placings across. It's going to be tight. Corey Hill just gets there ahead of Dane Sloss, and it looks like also Reese Drury. There's the results. Here's Libby with the winner. Congratulations. A solid win out there. Did you feel comfortable? Um, I wouldn't say comfortable. Um, it's yeah, pretty testing conditions out there. You just got to try and pick the best alleys to get out and sort of yeah, come in without slewing and in between the flags.